Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Ooh, and as you can see, my son is sunning, baby. She's sunning. I hope you are having a beautiful morning. Uh, I stop. I like to share with you all the making of onion powder. Yeah. So with my small onion bulbs that I harvest from my 100 gallon grow bag, yeah, yeah, baby. I flipped that thing, I flipped that thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you how I make onion powder. Yeah, so if you was with me on last season, I did the same thing, but I'm gonna share with you all again. And for those who wasn't here, I'm gonna share with you how I make onion powder. You all having a beautiful Saturday morning. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. All right guys, so here is my onion powder. Onion powder. I'm sitting here in my Cheryl Swoop shirt. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? All right guys. everyone so these are my onions so these are the smaller onions that I harvest from my 100 gallon grow bag the ones that I harvest out there right these are the smaller ones so what am I gonna do with the smaller ones this is what I'm gonna do with them today I'm cleaning them all and I'm gonna slice them and I'm going to put them on my dehyd in my dehydrator, and I'm going to make onion powder for Jody. Cut them in half first, just cut them in half. And this just makes it easier to slice. And just slice them. Now listen, if you wanna slice them whole, go ahead on and slice it whole. I mean, you know, do your thing, but I'm just sharing what, what I'm doing. So I'm just slicing them. And, um, and then all I'm gonna do is just put them on a tray. And you know, some of them are gonna be overlapping, but it will. And <clears throat> sometimes this may take two days to get done. Yeah, but seriously, it doesn't matter. It really don't because I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> and so that's my next tray. And I just have, um, this is parchment paper. This is parchment paper on here. That's what I have on here. And it's good for me because <clears throat> I, um, you know, when I'm done, I just throw the paper away. I just, I just throw it away. So that's the good part for me. So I'm gonna get back to uh, finish, finishing chopping all of these onions. <laughs> and this bowl was just overrunning with, um, with onions, but that's okay. It's just me. It's just more. Um, onion powder that Jody and I will have and that's amazing so one thing about your homemade foods it's all pure and natural and nope there is no bioengineered food here none none <laughs> I'll be back y'all this is all nine of my trays. They are all filled. I have my dehydrator in my garage because I don't want my house to smell like onions for weeks, for a couple of weeks, okay? 
So now I'm going to bring them out there and I'm going to put them in my uh, dehydrator and I'll show you when I get them all in. All right. All right. There she is. She's sitting on top of the freezer and there she goes. So now let's turn this baby on and I'm going to bring up the timer. Let me use this hand because I can't see. And I'm going to um, let's see how far she at 1930. Okay, cool. So the temperature, we're gonna leave it there at 158. Let her rip. Tater chip. All nine of them is in there. This garage gonna be smelling like deliciousness because I can smell it already. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring it down one time, y'all. Maybe, maybe in the, all right, maybe 140, 140, <laughs> all right. So this is, what I didn't know is my son turned the dehydrator off because I had to leave the house. So, yeah. Just by looking, I can tell now, it is crispy, you know, but I want them all the way, all the way. <laughs> crispy, crispy. Now, they are crispy, but I still feel some moisture in, in a couple of trays. So, yeah, that's, that's crispy. That's real crispy. So, let's see. So, one of the things I really love about my dehydrator this is the kind of dehydrator i have one thing i love about it is that the the motor the fan is in the back of the dehydrator right and what that means it it blow it blows air on all the trays equally so i don't have to rotate my trays no so now, see this one here, I still feel moisture in here. It's not breaking, it's bending. And I don't want to bend, baby. I want to break, <laughs> right? So this one, there is some, yeah, it's, it's a bend. So I, I want to break. So we're gonna put it back for, yeah. And see this, this is the bigger pieces, right? the bigger pieces so the smaller pieces you you cut these um, the quicker it'll be done right so there is some bending in here that I don't want on my big pieces so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it back for another three hours and we're gonna see what she do but that's the way she look all right all right so I put it back to 4 30 four hours and 30 minutes and I put it at uh, the temperature is 158 I left it high so let's rip baby mm -hmm.